Good day, researchers! This is Ms. Zhang, and welcome to Practical Research 1 with me. And today, we are going to talk about Chapter 1. Because once your title is approved, then your group will start writing or drafting Chapter 1. And I think these slides are familiar, right? Because I already discussed this in the previous video, okay? So we will not talk about the title. Once your titles are approved, then you're good to go in um, formulating chapter 1. For chapter 1, we have four parts. Okay, so uh, research is systematic, there are systems, there are chapters, and there are subchapters, right? Okay, so that's the characteristic of research. For chapter 1, we have um, basically four parts. Okay, um, don't worry because it's only in chapter 1 that there are lots of parts because in chapter 2 and chapter 3, okay, again, we will only have three chapters uh, for our research paper and it was already discussed in the previous video that I had, right, for the, for the um, topics that we will cover for practical research 1. Okay, so for chapter 1, um, there are four subparts. We will talk about um, part 1 and part 2 for this video. So that part 3 and part 4, that would be for the next video. Okay, so that you will not be overwhelmed as to, okay. Alright, so what is inside introduction and the problem? We will talk about that for today. Okay, again, the problem, the chapter 1, the problem and its scope. That is the title. Let's proceed with part 1, introduction. For introduction, there are three parts, no? subparts of the subpart. We have A, rationale of the study, B, theoretical background and conceptual framework of the study, and letter C, review of related literature. Let's talk about that. Chapter 1, the problem in its scope, introduction. Let's talk about the rationale of the study. The rationale contains, first, the general context of the study, next, the description of the current state of the field, next, description of the current and conventional practices in addressing the issue, next, the research gap, and next, how your current study fills in the gap. Okay. Um, next, rationale should be two to three pages only. It should not be very long. Use neutral voice, use present tense in the rationale. Avoid bias, avoid concluding statements that are not supported with any citations. The rationale serves as the background of the study and uh, explains the logical reasons um, why the researchers conducted the study. It should be arranged deductively, general to specific, or global to the national to the local um, context of the study. Okay. The rationale is a part of your paper where you inform the reader of the context of the study. When we say context, it means the situation or circumstances within which your research topic was conceptualized ideally. This part is written when you have already conducted a literature review and has a good perception of the topic. So, you can articulate the importance and validity of the research problem. It is also in this part of the paper where you justify the need to conduct a research study about the topic selected by establishing the research gap. Earlier, no, so man, with, why, what do we understand with the research gap? What so do we miss? A research gap is an under or underexplored area of a topic that requires further exploration. The gap can be in a form of other variables, conditions, population, methodology, or test subject. To identify research gaps, okay, an exhaustive literature review regarding the topic is required. So, before you can justify the research gap of your study, you really have to what, read read similar studies you know, about your topic so that you will have more idea. You may have to look for similar or related studies employing, so in this 
case, ato ay qualitative man. So, qualitative method from legitimate sources and examine the gray areas. Reading through the discussion, conclusion, or recommendation sections of the article will help you know potential areas of study that need further attention. Identifying research gaps sometimes would even make researchers modify the research problem as they get noteworthy ideas from fellow researchers. While both rational and review of related literature involves reading past studies, they differ in some aspects. Okay, the rationale is at the introductory part of the paper with the purpose of relaying the importance of your research study. Okay? So, the rationale will answer the following questions. What is already known about the topic? What is not known about the topic? Why do you need to address those gaps? What is the purpose of your study? While answering these questions, keep in mind that the studies you include in this part of the paper are laid down as part of the introduction and should not be discussed in great detail. The depth and length of the background information largely depend on how much information you think the reader needs to know, know so that they have the full grasp of the topic being discussed. Okay, so that's how, you know, you have to read other papers in the, about you, reading to the discussion, conclusion, or recommendation sections will help you identify, ah, okay, so in this part of the paper, um, so let's open the paper ha huh? and then here di ba um reading through the discussion or conclusion or recommendations you will then know nga ah okay so there is still a research gap that needs to be addressed so for example um the national discussion using a koan that's what okay that's how it is general discussion um, self-image reputation and uh, prevails from early childhood what's that in so now, gonna, although our studies provide clear evidence, okay, many questions remain. For instance, could evaluative audience perception emerge even after earlier than 14 months? Okay, so there are questions actually in the research paper. You have to read through them so that you will know nga, ah, okay, so, um, even though nag-conduct lang study, so na pag question, this is what you call the research gap. Why? It's a gray area. It's not yet being explored. No? So, that is why you, researchers, should really um, read more about the research topic so that you will know, ah, okay, so this part of the research paper, um, this is a research gap and it needs to be um, filled so that um, we are able to, um, let's say, really give um, a background nga, okay, this is what happens and um, this is the research gap. We will answer that gap. Okay, so for example, there's a rational here and then um, the rational should be when you write it down, uh, you have to establish what is your, yes, what is your um, research topic, the main research topic that you have. So in the case of this one, so, their title is Students' Perception and the Academic Use of Social Media. So, social media has become, and then what's that? And then some students' perception are, okay, so dapat sa first paragraph pa lang ganidan, you are already presenting your research topic. What is that? Okay, and then express. And then, however, social media is a tool, and then, nagwanadara. Many students and teachers of some schools in Cebu City has engaged in different social media sites. Okay, and then, um, and then this study was conducted to gather information and analyze the experiences of students towards social media use in academic. Okay, the purpose of studies to discover. So, dapat na adyo na state ang purpose. So, two, two pages na ini. The end of that you have to spe uh, specify okay so that's the purpose of the study okay so uh, i have here um practical research one um, advisor's notes now rational define and discuss the variables of your study and explain the uc pri context of the phenomenon you have to uh, include that 
there's a need for you to really this um delve deeper on this research topic because it's happening in the University of Cebu main campus because your participants are in UC Pri in the University of Cebu main campus. Okay, so that's why oh, this study is conducted too. And then, um, if you notice, national uh, parts of Cebu City and then nine parts of Philippines. Why? Because um, your again the rationale should be no arrange deductively so maguna ang um, global context sa imuhang phenomenon. Next is the national context, the Philippine context of the phenomenon, and last is the Cebu the province, Cebu City context of your phenomenon. Unsa na siya yung phenomenon imo hang choose It's a research topic. Okay, so basically that's it for the rationale. I hope you are still with me. We are already 10 minutes through this video. Okay, and that is the rationale. Next, uh, part of the introduction, we have theoretical background and conceptual framework of the study. When we say theoretical background, this is an in-depth discussion of the anchor series of the study. It should be in paragraph format. Write one paragraph per one theory. Anchor your studies on at least two theory theories. So here's a sample of the first paragraph of a theoretical background. When you say theoretical background, it's a paragraph form na siya ha. You are going to review or write down unsa na ang inyong theories na makasupport sa inyong study. One theory, one paragraph. So, dari. Eric Erickson's theory of psychosocial development. Okay, so now, okay, example, no sample of the first paragraph of a theoretical background. Um, and then, when we say framework, framework is uh, naana siya mga shapes, boxes, and lines. So, the framework is the paradigm of the study. Make sure that it is in just one page. Okay. This is an example of a theoretical framework. So, na dali mga theories and then you connect the mug lines and then your title and the themes. Figure 1, it should be italics. So, let us try um, escape. Let's check Unsa no? So for example, this is the theoretical, theoretical background. So first, na siya theory din he, and then this theory is about Cherva. Okay, what is that all about? And then next theory is social information processing theory. This theory is unsa na siya about um, adaptive theory by Koan isa na ang theorists. And then na, na siya space because it should be in one page ang theoretical framework. So, natulo man lang theory. So, natulo. Name of the theory. And then, ang authors should be in the parenthesis. No, parenthetical citation. Na siya. And then, okay, that's it. And, na ay lines to connect. Title of your study. Ilang title man kay students' perceptions of the academic ease of social media. And then, sa ilang SOP kay, duha rin lang i-ask. What are the advantages and disadvantages? Okay. Then figure 1 should be italics and then the name is the schematic diagram of the conceptual and theoretical framework of the study. And if you've noticed, it's in really one page na siya, guys. Okay? So that's how the framework should look like. Framework. And then before sa framework ay ang theoretical background. Nag-discuss ka sa, sa theory ni mo. Okay? So you discuss there on sa ni siyang mga theories. And then, if you've noticed, mga nagani kang theoretical background, naagit siya prefatory paragraph. So, before ka mag-discuss of theories, imo sa siyang ibutang ang prefatory paragraph. So, a paragraph that would give an introduction what will be the theoretical background all about. So, researchers extend and gather information. The researchers will use the theories to widen data and information, investigate the proved theories to make study firm and clear. Okay, and then, butang ko sila. And then, after sa prefatory paragraph is the clincher or um, this is the last paragraph, no, sa imang theoretical background. The theory stated above has its own different claims and is related to the study for the reason that all is, uh, this study focuses on the experiences, causes, effects of the respondents, and controlled themselves using media to give overall conclusion. 
So, the apat na asya'y um, clincher or concluding paragraph. So, muna siya, no? First paragraph, pre prefatory, and then next is discuss the theories and mention the theorists. Last paragraph is summarize the key points from your um, paragraphs. Alright, that's it. And next, we will discuss um, part 3 of the introduction. So, once we're done with that, we are now in um, introduction, letter C, review of related literature. These are the purposes, um, no, the kind of purpose, kind of na I review of related literature. Discover the connection of your research, the existing body of knowledge, identify more concepts as the foundation of the research, determine the relationship of your research with previous studies, to prevent duplication, no, and acknowledge other researchers. Uh, of course, part of no? uh, you have to cite them, to avoid plagiarism, to acquire knowledge on the accuracy and significance of your research, acquaint yourself with technical terminologies, determine possible gaps, conflict, open questions left from other researches, which might help you in formulating and justifying your ideas, clarify misconceptions in the previous researchers. No, in the early of related literature, this is where you are going to discuss how the authors in books, journals, research papers, articles, news articles, um, etc. write about or talk about your topic. You can also discuss the purpose and results of the findings of the authors or the researchers of the different related research paper, published journals, thesis, dissertation. No? And the validity of dissertations depend on the context of your study. So, dapat, no, if your citations are mga 1980, yung yeah, study about smartphone, your citations are outdated. Okay, uh, during 1980s, wala pa man siguro na invent ang smartphone, di ba? So, dili ka pwede ka cite, ana. But, if your citations are 1980s and your studies about academic stress, that is still valid since even during 1980s, the context of your study is relevant. No, kay na naman ay academic stress pa panahon sa 1980s, okay? So, that's how you're going to know if your citations can be valid. Okay? And, so, sources of related literature. So, literature, daghan kay ka ug mga sources, anak books, in mga journals. Okay? And, um, na ay rule, di ba, nga dapat within five years ka ang validity of the journal. If mag-discuss ka og result, finding, no? Results and findings of um, research paper, um, it's uh, dapat at least 2015 to 2020 na siya. If you're discussing sa results and findings of the journal. But if you're talking about your topic in general, again, it can be um, from this one. Okay, so I'll just uh, cut this in a bit. Alright, so where were we? Again, um, review of related literature. When you're going to discuss concepts of your topic, then um, you're free with the citations. If you're going to discuss what are the results, what are the findings, what did other research uh, researchers find out in their results, in their discussion of the findings of their paper, of the research paper, then uh, let's follow 2015 to 2020 um, citations. Okay? That's only for results and findings. Let's have an example. Okay, um, here, so uh, for this paper, review of literature and a study. So this chapter presents the literature from both foreign local sources. All right, so review of related literature. Uh, this part of the study presents related literature reviewed by the researchers. Okay, and then uh, advantages, period. Uh, and then they, they uh, Reviewed. There are two types of social media users, digital and digital natives. Okay? They discuss nila ang concept. Okay, unsa man nila ha? Um, social media use, right? So, muna ilang ipambutang ang mga concepts. So, nagamit sila ang paragraph heading. What's a paragraph heading? You should use that in order to guide nga ang kaning mga paragraphs. It's about, yes, it's about the advantages. Okay. Kay mo man ang naasa ilahang statement of the problem. What are the advantages of uh, what are the advantages of uh, social media use, right? In school. Kay academic man yun. Okay. 
And then, so if you've noticed na ay mga citations na siya, in-text citations, kasagaran kay parenthetical in-text citation. Kani, according to, si, basta, mag-according to mo, ginaksagaran sa um, narrative citation, but you minimize the use of kanama according to, no? Okay? Now, next, kay, disadvantages. Kaya sa may mga disadvantages, ani, since, again, ang ilang paragraph heading kay naasa statement of the problem. What are their questions in the statement of the problem should be the guide sa ilahang paragraph heading. Okay, that's how you should write your, ano ha, your paper. And then, so, kanisa, related studies nila is more of what? Discussion on the results and findings. Okay, so, if you notice, ang mga citation year, kay recent, 2016, 2017, no, 2016, 2017, ano. Okay, so, that's it for a uh, review of related literature. Okay, let's present that. And, um, Please discuss no on the concepts on sana siya. A range of literature review from the oldest citation year to the most recent citation year. Again, mo to paragraph headings no to guide the readers as to the content of the paragraphs in your related uh, in your literature review. These paragraph headings are the variables in your statement of the problem. And then, di ba sa ilahan na kay nakita advantages, disadvantages, nga yung kanakman because mauman na ang pangutana sa ilang SOP, duha ra kabuok, kung si advantages, kung si disadvantages sa um, social media academic use. Okay? That's it. And we're done with chapter 1, introduction. Let's have chapter 1, the problem, which is the next part. Okay, so the problem. So, muna sa 1, nasa 2 na ta. Okay, so second part sa chapter 1, the problem, statement of the problem, significance of the study, and scope and limitation. So, basically, there are three sub-parts. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, next, we have chapter 1, 2, the problem. So, statement of the problem contains the general research question and the specific research questions. Use impersonal third-person point of view. Example, what are the challenges encountered by these adolescents? Do not write in second-person point of view. What are your challenges? Because well, this is not acceptable in the statement of the problem. Always remember, SOP gani, third-person point of view. So, muna siya general problem, Anna, and then the specific problem sa ubos. So, earlier's example na ko, mao ni SOP nila. This study investigated a perception towards academic use of social media during the second semester of school year 2019-2020. Specifically, the study answered the following questions. Okay, so, inanara na siya ang general um, problem. Makita, no, kung unsa ilang investigate about perception sila towards academic use. Um, unsa ang timeline during second sem school year and then this answer the following questions okay, so past tense na siya so specific question 1 and specific question 2 since duha taman ng ilahang questions sa study they're just asking for advantages and disadvantages and that's it okay so inanira na siyang format sa statement of the problem ninyo na ay general problem din hi nga one sentence and then Specifically, sa the answer the following questions, one, two, sa nang mga specific questions din yun. So, mga advantages, disadvantages, di ba mo na ilahang gigamit niya what? Paragraph heading. When they wrote their review of related literature na yung mga paragraph heading sa katong sample earlier. And, next part, sa the problem, which is letter B, significance of the study. Significance, no, on sa importance, sa impa importance, ana. This section details the contribution or benefit that your study provides to different people and organizations, including the academe and other sectors of society. For practical research, one, let's write our significance of the study in a topical arrangement. The topical arrangement is done in paragraphs and based on the weight of the individual contributions. So, arrangement could be like First paragraph, kay students ang beneficiary. Kasi since mo man ang respondent students, so they are the main beneficiaries. Then you can mention parents, or you can mention teachers, or maybe school staff, 
um, you can also mention future researchers. Note that you always use the future tense in the significance of the study. And here's an example. Alright, so, ingnaniun siya ang significance of the study, no? Um, okay, the following will, the following factors will benefit from the study, or the following people, people lang na siya. Okay, senior high school students, period, and then bold na siya, okay? The students will greatly benefit, so again, future tense. Okay, parents, this will serve as their guidance and advice. Okay, so, will, so future tense, Teachers, karang od hop. This will provide and some future researchers benefit them. So, okay, nana no, ana na siya. Okay, significance of the study. Okay, so, um, that's it. So, significance of the study, you're going to mention who will be the people who can benefit your paper. So, once na nakai results ni mo, oh, oh, how will that? give kanang benefit to them. So, okay, that's the significance of the study. And, letter C na dapat sa scope and limitations. Okay, so, wala na bantayan. Assumption na naman. Okay. The last part of uh, two, part two. Okay, so, bigit siya tanwa. No naman ni. Alright. So once you're done with scope and limitation, uh, yeah, once you're done with significance of the study, then um, it's time to write down the scope and limitations. So letter C. The scope and limitations in the study describes the parameters to which the study is set. It sets the boundaries of your paper uh, in terms of certain aspects. The scope specifies the coverage of your study. Such as the variable, population, participant, no, and timeline. Limitations cite factors of your study that are not included or excluded. So, scope unsa yung appeal sa inyong papel, and limitation unsa yung wala. Unsa yung wala yung include. You may state the reason why wala siya napil ang certain variables. A clearly written scope and limitations will make it. Definitely easier to answer the questions which are related or not related to your study. Components of the scope uh, and limitations include the following items but not limited to no? what are the variables to be included and excluded? Why are you doing this study? When are you going to conduct the study? Where are you going to gather your data? Who will be your respondents? How are you going to collect the data? Okay, so... With that in mind, okay, let's have an example. So scope and limita uh, limitations. So, kana, coverage. Ay, naam de ko sa example here. There. Um, let's just read that so that you will have an idea. So, that my example. You may use the following phrases when writing the section. Sample. The coverage of the study is to examine the factors and how social media affect the students and its impact on their academic performance in University of Cebu. Uh, senior High School Department for the school year 2019-2020, the study focused on the students' experiences towards academic use of social media. As a man, senior high school, the researchers have limitations to the information, ideas, experiences shared by the informants. Ten students were chosen for all academic tracks. No, and all of them were you uh, as respondents of the study. The researchers only selected grade 11 and grade 12 to be the informants. Moreover, the respondents' answers to the interview, so ang ilang pagkuha sa mga information or data ka interview, to satisfy the questions asked in the study. So we will discuss the next parts of chapter 1 on the next video discussion. Okay, Marcha, to ask, to ask ito siya. So let's um, escape, no? Again, in writing your chapter 1 na atay mga parts sa chapter 1 so nag start sa introduction the rational of the study again imo siyang iko uh, eh, you have to write in the rational unsa context sa study unsa ang research gap why are you conducting the study 
what's the purpose of the study? How are you going to fill in the research gap sa study ninyo? Then, theoretical background and conceptual framework of the study, what are the theories that will, uh, what that you will anchor your study upon? No? Um, for example, sa kaning example na to, nga, ang ilahang series, kay since it's more on social media academic use man, they have the social media engagement theories, um, social media information theory, adaptive structuration theory. You're just going, miss, as saman yung mga ana, you have to look for theories um, using the internet since that's the fastest way that you can look for theories. Okay? And then, sa letter C, sa introduction kay review of related literature. Sa ganina, you're going to read books. Um, you're going to read research papers, online journals. What do they say about your topic? I-review ni mo din ha, sa imong nabasahan, para you have a foundation of your study. That's introduction. Two, the problem. What are the questions on your statement of the problem? Again, a general question in one sentence and then specific research questions. Letter B, significance of the study. Who are going to benefit from your study? I mentioned the mga people nga maka benefit sa study. And letter C, scope and limitations. Asa na taman ang imuhang study? No? Alright, so basically that's it for um, chapter 1, parts 1 and 2. You are going to discuss 3 and 4 on the next video. Para dili ma overwhelm. And also, this is the first um, part taman nga in yuhang iright. Alright, I hope that um, in so far as introduction and the problem in chapter 1 is concerned, it's clear. And uh, I'll just um, have to run you through this. Uh, I'll be giving you this research notes, no? When you're going to write your paper, at least na amoy, na amoy um, guide. Again, formatting. For basic format, Times New Roman, imong gamiton. 12, ang font size. Ang font kay Times New Roman. It should be 2.0 spacing all throughout your paper. Okay? The page number of the first page of a chapter should not be visible. For instance, um, or like chapter 2 na wala yung nam page number nga makita din ha unlike here di ba na siya page number 9 kani siya wala siya page number if uh, chapter page na siya page number must be in the upper right hand of the corner it should follow <coughs> it should also be in times new roman font okay mo na natong gamiton times new roman alignment paragraphs must be in justified format i think you know how to justify right Mura na siyang i-control e, A baka ha, and then this kanina part, no, justify. Align text to both left and right margins, adding extra space if necessary. Okay. Dapat justified ang format sa imuha papel. 2.0 again, no? And um, indentions, 0 0.5 inches ang mag-indent. Margin should be 1.0 inch. No, 1.0 na nga margin. Okay. Um, headings, all the headings, chapters, subsections must be written in bold. Do not leave large gaps of space between sections of a chapter. That's for formatting. Remember that. Writing, language and style. The tone should be impersonal, academic tone. Do not use impersonal pronouns such as we, you, I, us. Ako lang na siyang i ka ng red, no? Okay. Um, that is very kanang uh, rampant no nga naay magamit og we you since it's academic paper academic tone ta do not use that and then if mo refer ka sa inyong selves as researchers imo bitang the researchers conducted the study dili gyud na we did ana na no again i'll remind you it's not kuanhat you should not do that we you us i ours kana no no academic tone so Mahog na siya nga, na as a third person point of view. Verb tenses. Use present tense when discussing references in ideas such as uh, in introduction, theoretical background, and related literature. But use past tense when talking about the procedures done in the research. Do not use contractions okay, in the entire paper. Minsan nang contractions miss. Kanaganing mga don't, won't, can't, won't, isn't, um, minsan na, gikontract ni mo ba? No? Nag-shortcut ka. 
So, ayaw pag-write anang mga yun, ana. And that's really a no-no. So, dapat, no, when you're writing your paper, spell it out properly and ayaw kon i-contract ang mga uh, mga words. Okay? So, do not, can not, ana, should not, is not. Okay? Kasagaran nga, unsa mga mga contractions din, ha? Ayaw mo gamit na, ana, siya. Okay? Dapat walay mga contractions sa papel. Do not copy entire sections of laws, researches, or whatever references you're using. Do any of the following instead. Again, paraphrase, paraphrase, paraphrase. No, or you can summarize, or you can give the gist of whatever sections of laws or research ang inyong gigamit sa inyong review of related literature. Now, write the number of in words followed by figures, including parentheses. Sample ten, and then spelled out ang ten niya kanang number ng ten na sa sulit. Okay. And then, nanana din ha, no, introduction, I think, na-discuss na ko na siya. Again, prefatory paragraph. So, this part of the chapter um, discusses the review of the literature coming from books, journals that were reviewed by the researchers. And then, mag-discuss na dayon ka din ha. And then, sa, sa last paragraph, imuhang i-summarize ang whatever sa inyong related literature. Okay? And um, again, na na siya SOP, tapos na siya significance of the study, and then um, scope and limitations. Okay, so diha lang sa ta mag no discuss. But I'll be giving you this notes so that you will know nga. Okay? Again, research writing is, uh, writing an academic paper is very technical, manjud. And so you have to know all these things. Thank you so much for listening uh, in this 37-38 minute video um, of chapter 1, which is part 1, introduction, part 2, the problem. We'll, dis we'll have um, chapter 1, video 2 on the next, um, sa next ng, uh, uh, video. Thank you, uh, researchers. God bless you. And stay safe, stay healthy. And I hope you, your group, will really be united because... Teamwork makes the dream work. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the day. Stay safe, stay healthy researchers. Bye!